Welcome everyone to Malvern, Pennsylvania. Quigley Field is the Interact Championship game as Malvern Prep takes on Chestnut Hill Academy. I'm Marcus Wright, Digitex U Sports, bringing you the action. Malvern Prep 8-0, Chestnut Hill Academy 9-0. Something has to give, and it's going to give right here. www.digitexu.com Chestnut Hill Academy, an offensive juggernaut, coming into the game at 9-0. Malvern Prep, a great all-around team, coming into the game at 8-0. Both teams were well prepared. Both teams were set to go. But the one thing that might have been the difference maker going in was the home field advantage that the Friars would enjoy. The Malvern faithful were there in full force. But Chestnut Hill Academy and their fans wanted the title just as bad. Chestnut Hill Academy would get on the board first as senior quarterback Michael McTee would keep it and squeeze through the holes for a 42-yard touchdown run, making it a 7 to nothing game. But the Friars would work their way back for a nice pass here from Ryan Nassif, the quarterback, to wide receiver Joseph Price for the big game. And here, the toss to junior running back Neil Willis as he goes in on the left side for the score, nodding it up at 7. It was windy, and maybe that had something to do here with the botched snap on the punt. Malvern Prep takes over with excellent field position. That would lead to this, the keeper, one-yard run by Nassib, making it a 13-7 game as the Friars missed the extra point. Chestnut Hill tried to strike that, but it's a fumble caused by defensive end Michael McKee. The Blue Devils were able to hold and got the ball back, and they went to work. Look at this great pass and catch. Jonathan McAllister, the sophomore tight end, that led to this field goal by number seven, Patrick Conahan, which made it a 13 to 10 game. Both defenses worked hard to keep the game close. Check out this interception by number five, Ibrahim Campbell, his fourth interception of the year. The game would be 13-10 at the half. The Flyers would work to change that in the second half. Nassib with the rollout to the right and the nice spiral to James Connolly, the junior running back. On this play, Nassib goes left, touchdown. Touchdown by Neil Willis makes it a 20-10 game. The Flyers would try to add to that lead. Check out this play. The inside reverse. Willis goes back towards the middle and gets good yardage. But the Blue Devil defense would stand tall, stopping the Friars at fourth and goal. But when you're pinned deep in your own territory, mistakes can happen, and it does here. Tipped ball, interception by Willis. And that would set up this touchdown run by Connolly as he walks in and makes it a 26-10 game. The fans were loving it. Their team, minutes away from being the 2007 Interact Champions. But Chestnut Hill would put up one last fight. Here it's Michael to Michael. Michael Lonergan, the senior wide receiver, would get the touchdown catch. And after the two-point conversion, it was 26-18 Friars. So one last chance. Onside kick. Chestnut Hill would kick it. Up in the air it would go. And Malvern Butt would come down with it. And that would be the game, folks. The student body runs onto the field as Malvern Prep win the Interact Championship of 2007 with a 26-18 victory over Chestnut Hill Academy. A great effort by a great team. Congratulations, Malvern Prep. You are the 2007 Interact League Champions. For Digitex U Sports, this is Marcus Wright. Thank you for watching and have a good night.